Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star again. Welcome to Last Earth Survival. So in front of us, we have this drone docking station. As it says here, the drone is fully charged. So how about we take it for a spin, shall we? We're gonna enter this Western Watchtower and to get here, we need to have an ATV. And I wanted to show you here some interesting things about this Western Watchtower. So first of all, we need to get here with the ATV in order to unlock some swamp locations. But during the most recent update, we've gotten here a drone. So let's add the drone over here. And with this drone, we had to recalibrate three towers. and we with each tower that we recalibrate, we do get some sort of a blueprint. So we've already gotten three of these blueprints. There's also a fourth blueprint that we will probably get once we recalibrate this tower, but it's not that easy. As check this out over here, we have the signal amplifier and to build a signal amplifier and to repair it, we need to get these iron rods and they are pretty hard to get. We also need to get 20 of these copper wires. I have already brought some of these resources. So let's drop here some of these bolts. Let's drop five of these wrenches and let's drop 20 rubber. It's not much, but it's honest work. Getting these antennas is going to be pretty easy as we can get that stuff at the abandoned factory. So it's not that bad. We can get these iron rods at a broaching machine in the settlement, but that is going to be very, very hard to do. It also says that we can get that stuff at the transport hub. And for those who don't know, the transport hub is the newest location that's been added to the game. It is pretty interesting. And honestly, the loot is pretty decent. So let's go and let's check out the transport hub. But before we do that, I'd like to share some more tips with you. So inside of this storage, you can get here a crowbar and you need a crowbar in order to go past this gate. So if you did not get any crowbars with you, you can find a crowbar here in the trunk of this vehicle. And a welcome to the transport hub. So this place is a lot easier than it seems. You don't really even have to bring here lots of guns. A lot of these enemies can be just dealt with basic melee weapons. I am bringing obviously here some guns because this way it's a lot faster. Obviously this place has some bosses. Again, I don't really know if you know that or not, if that's going to be a spoiler or not, but there is some sort of a minor boss and that guy does a lot of damage. The dude has lots of health. So we have to have here kind of decent weapons for that boss. That's probably like the hardest thing about this entire place. And there's also another place that will require you to have some of these neutralizers, some of these armor piercing weapons. You can get those armor piercing weapons from the laboratory. So there's that. You also need to clear that laboratory in order to get those flight controllers or whatever they're called in order to assemble that drone docking station. As without the drone, you won't be able to access this place. So by the time you clear that laboratory, you will be able to clear this place as well. All right, I think last time we have assembled this thing. Can I open the door? Nope, I cannot open this door up because we need to go here on this bridge and my bridge here is already assembled also this place does have a forklift who knows maybe we'll try to assemble that forklift today but if i'm not mistaken it requires 40 aluminum cables 40 aluminum wires or whatever they're called and i do not have that but hey check this out this place does have copper so this place is decent just because of copper we just had to deal with a couple of these zombies again you could have dealt with most of these zombies with just melee weapons and you come here and you get three copper bars which is kind of decent it's not a location that you can unlock at level 20 because as i said you need to clear the laboratory a decent amount of times and that will require lots of guns but this place is definitely doable and once you open it up you'll be able to get here some copper bars and from what i know there are even more copper bars scattered around this place so it's not like you only get copper bars here okay then on the way out i'll try to get here some more first it's kind of sad that we've gotten here a broken katana which was a full durability katana i don't know why we keep getting those broken weapons but whatever that's probably better than nothing okay let's open that stuff up and there we, go. we have here some more zombie officers okay these guys are pretty easy to deal with maybe there's even a way to wall trick them somewhere. I think we can even wall trick them over here. Check this out behind this door and you can wall trick them just as in Bunt Krauth. We can get here a melee weapon and you can just start dealing here with these guys. So it is absolutely doable, but hey, let's just smash them here with this Glock real quick. There we go. Let's deal with this hungry chomper that's been punching that vending machine for God knows how long. And yeah, over here, we'll be able to get a crate. So once we fight with the boss, we'll be able to open this thing up using this terminal card. Once you insert that terminal card, we'll be able to choose a crate. But hey, everything in due time, you'll see everything. Let's deal with these smashers. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, well, let's try to hide over here. Let's get like whatever got in here real quick. Oh, no, I just got spat on. That's not that good. Okay, we just got to avoid that acid melter then. The acid melter is never cool. There we go. We dealt with that acid melter. That is all right. Acid Melter did not melt our armor, but again, I was ready for it. We could have gotten another armor, but everything is fine. So we have 60 health here. Hopefully we'll find some food in this vending machine. Then I'll be able to restore some of my health that way without wasting a first aid kit. There we go. Let's get here some more first aid kits. And that is it. I'd say like already maybe 30% of this place is cleared. Maybe even more, maybe even 40% as the boss is going to be like maybe 40% of this place itself. So this place is not that massive, but the loot is kind of all right. Look at this. There's another katana. So you can just clear this place to get more melee weapons. And uh, again, these melee weapons are broken. I get it. But hey, 
It is what it is, Durga. Let's deal with another toxic darter. So you gotta be careful with these toxic darters because they do 40 damage a pop. So when there are three toxic darters spitting at you at the same time, you will be in deep, deep trouble, Durga. Let's deal with that guy. And you know what? Maybe I will heal up with some soups here. There's another toxic darter. So there go. There are lots of toxic darters up here. So be very, very careful. Okay, so over here, there has to be a crate, but to get to it, we probably have to go around it. Okay, also, we need to go down there. Maybe we will loot this place later on. Wait, I'm just gonna deal with these guys up here, over here, and another toxic daughter. So yeah, for those guys, you probably should get some guns, as if you keep fighting them with melee weapons, most likely you'll die. As I said, they do 40 damage a pop. So if there are three toxic daughters attacking you at the same time, you'll get 120 damage and you'll die. So that is pretty simple. There we go. Let's go over here. So now we can unlock this crate over here. Wait, it looks a little bit different. It's a medical crate. Whatever. We've just scanned this cargo. How about we go over here? Nothing. Okay, so here we can just drop down. I'm not really certain what kind of zombies we'll get there, but that's fine. I have a gun. So it is all right. No, no. There's an acid melter. Okay, let's try to deal with this acid melter. I'll maybe get a, an AK here just to deal with this guy a little bit faster. So now we can go up here and let's get ready for all the guys down there. Let's check this out. There will be these schmucks and they heal up and those enemies have armor. So we can deal with these guys only with armor piercing guns. So how about I get this? We also could get this drone, but so far it doesn't really do anything. I've also taken a reanimator out of my inbox and I will use it over here. As I'm not really sure, some of you are saying that you can lose all of your loot if you die in this place. I can't really confirm or deny anything as I've seen people saying that hey, you don't lose your loot. I've seen people saying that you lose your loot and I don't really want to lose here these items that I have here. I'm kind of curious if you die, will you lose your drone. I think the drone is just gonna follow you back. Let's say you die in a green zone or in a red zone. Will this drone disappear? Probably not. Well, in any case, I am absolutely ready. How about we get this SWAT armor? There you go. Let's go down there with this SWAT armor. All of those zombies are gonna be healing up, so we have to be careful with what we do, and we'll have to keep running around. There we go. We've gotten here. There's this stupid toxic darter. I want to deal with this toxic darter first, and there we go. Now our goal is just to keep shooting them, and running as much as we can as they are healing up with each punch they do. Maybe there's a better way to deal with them, but that's how I'm gonna deal with them. Oh no, they just got stuck over there. How about we deal with one of those guys? There we go, we did it. And let's deal with another carrion. So this is like the second hardest thing about this entire place, right? These carrions. After that, there is the boss, right? The boss is the hardest thing. And after that, everything is pretty easy. That's it. We've dealt with almost the hardest thing in this game. If you don't want, you don't even have to deal with that boss. Again, not in this game, but in this transport hub. So we've gotten here five green coupons. If you want to get them, you can get them. Here we've gotten more green coupons. Last time, I think I've gotten five green and five yellow or something. Maybe it is also possible to get red tickets. Maybe I've gotten yellow tickets from this guy. Okay, we've only gotten two yellow tickets, but sometimes you can get more. So over here, you can assemble your forklift. And it is kind of doable as we only need these aluminum cables but I don't have 40 aluminum cables right now, but it would be cool to assemble this thing as then we'd be able to get one more crate and that fourth crate is kind of decent, but we still can scan here something. Oh, there's also a crate at the bottom. Let's not forget about it. Let's loot this crate. So as you can see, this transport hub is pretty interesting. Here we've gotten a Glock. That is lovely. Let's get that Glock. Let's get here some bandages that I'll be able to get from another chest outside as well because I still haven't picked that stuff up. And let's go this way. There we go. There's one more crate. And uh, here we've gotten some other random resources. Okay, let's open that stuff up. We've gotten just an inhaler. For those who don't know, inhaler removes some of the spore debuffs at the laboratory. And it also restores your health. We're almost done clearing this entire place. There's only one more thing left for us to do. And that is to go over here because there's also this truck here. So we can load these boxes and let's see what kind of items we can get inside of these boxes. And here we've gotten some fiberglass and a bunch of other random stuff. All right. Which fiberglass is not that easy to craft. So it's nice to get some fiberglass. Also, fun fact, the helicopter has crashed here. So that's interesting. Oh, and there's also one more crate over here. For that, you need to have a burglar perk. But we have it so we can open up this crate. And here we've gotten another Glock and even more copper bars. Check this out. We've already gotten seven copper bars. So this place is very surprising. It does give you a decent amount of loot, which is very interesting. As we usually do don't get that amount of loot in these new locations. And there's one more cargo that I've forgotten to scan here. So we are up here. We dropped down to deal with these armored guys. So how about we get a drone? Also, another drawback about this drone is that it takes your extra pocket. So if you don't have an extra pocket, it's going to be very difficult to play this game. There you go. Let's scan one more of these crates. And I think this must have been the third crate, maybe. I'm not sure. 
Well, at least scanning those crates doesn't require drone batteries. At least I don't think so. There we go. Let's get rid of this neutralizer. Let's get some sort of weapons. And uh, perhaps let's test out these drone against these other guys. So for those who couldn't know, the drone has four charges. To charge this drone fully, you require 12 hours because each charge takes three hours to charge. And uh, per each charge, your drone does different amount of damage. It depends on the mods you got. But with these mods, the drone can do maybe from 160 to 200 damage in total. It obviously depends, but these are just rough numbers. So currently this drone can output 800 damage every 12 hours because we have to wait 12 hours for this drone to charge. So it's not really that much worth it, but it's better than nothing. So usually here we have to click on this button to drop this orange thing down, but it's already down here. All right, understandable. Have a nice day. Let's deal with this midshipman. How about we get the drone? And there we go. The drone's going to start damaging them. How much damage does it do? Do I see this? There we go. It does 18 damage plus they heal up. So it is something, as I said, the drone isn't perfect, but yeah, the drone's gonna hide kind of soon. There we go. The drone's gonna deal with this midshipman if it can even shoot it. I wish the drone would stick to those guys a bit better. Go and shoot it. There we go. The drone dealt with it. And can we do anything with this drone when I tell him to stop here? Will it stop? Okay, so the drone just stays here for a while and it doesn't do anything. I'm still not really certain how this drone works. And there we go. Just like that, the drone flew away. And it used up one of its charges. Okay, understandable. Let's get some more of these first aid kits. I'll probably get here a different armor. There we go. Let's get the SWAT armor. So usually over here you can wall trick some of the bosses. Again, I'm not really sure if that'll be fixed in the future. Because wall tricking is part of this game. You can wall trick in Bunker Alpha. But who knows if it'll stay like that forever. Well, let's deal with these sailors. There's another sailor. Have they dropped anything? Not yet. So before we open up those crates and before we deal with bosses... Let's deal with these midshipmen's first. There we go. Let's get that drone. So, yeah, so far, this drone feels really lame. Maybe once we get better upgrades, it'll be better. Also, from what I've heard, the drone can even heal you. So that would be cool. But it also depends if the drone just heals you, let's say, by 200. That's like two first aid kits. It's better than nothing. But let's say if you have to wait like 12 hours to heal you up by like 800 health. So in 12 hours, you get eight free first aid kits. It's probably something. I don't know. Well, we'll have to see. And the saddest part is that even when there are no enemies, the drone is also losing its battery. There we go. The drone just flew around and that's it. It just lost its battery. So it doesn't even matter if the drone's shooting or not. Okay, let's switch to a bit better gun. Let's get here an AK and let's start opening up these crates. So from how I understand, all of these crates are random. Sometimes you'll get a boss in this crate. Sometimes you'll get a boss in another crate. So let's start opening up those crates from the very, very back. And uh, let's see, is there anybody inside? Oh no, there's somebody. Oh no, these are just basic pale zombies. One pale zombie and obviously there's another pale zombie. Okay, so that's pretty easy. We can deal with these schmucks. And now let's open up this echo crate. And inside of this echo crate, look at this. It's not that bad at all. It is a decent, decent crate. Okay, so let's bring some of the loot here. I dropped some of my broken armor. And uh, yeah, let's try to open up other crates. I'm sure that in one of these other crates, there has to be a boss. So I am ready for it. Okay, there, there's a fast bite, and we can actually see that there is a boss here. Look at the mini-map. I think we've seen that the boss is there. Okay, so we'll open this stuff up later. How about I open this up? Oh, no, there is a boss! Whoa, 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 whoa! Did not sign up for that. So the boss is pretty strong. We can obviously hide over here. We can bring this boss a little bit closer. There we go. Is that going to work? I have no idea how that's going to work out. There we go. Let's wait for it. And this is how I'm planning to deal with the boss here. So there we go. For that, we don't even have to use this great weapon. Wait, what? how about we use these neutralizing weapons? Do they do lots of damage? Okay, we do 22 damage per pop. And with the Glock, we do 8 damage only. So obviously, armor-piercing guns are a bit better against the miner. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, now we gotta be kind of careful. And yeah, that's how we will wall trick this boss. There we go. There we go. It's not that bad. So yeah, armor-piercing weapons are the key to success. How about I get this other weapon and just look at that. We're just going to destroy this miner. Also, for those who don't know, another fun fact, we can fight miner in Sector 7. And again, for those who don't know, Sector 7 is a multiplayer location in Last and Earth Survival. You can fight miner with your friends. So it's kind of fun to see miner being brought to single player. It is kind of weird. Okay, so we have started missing with that gun. Let's go back to our pistol. Again, we are maybe just wasting these weapons as it's maybe better to save it for some other schmucks. Okay, we've gotten a little bit of damage. Again, maybe we could run around and kill this miner without using the wall trick. 
but it is what it is. Our weapon just broke, so let's get back our other guns. Let's go back to this Glock. Obviously, it's gonna take us a while to deal with this guy with a Glock. Okay, sometimes we even do 15 damage. I know I just got stuck there. Just got stuck. Also, it's probably better to get stronger armor when you fight the miner because if you don't want to, let's say, use wall trick while fighting the miner, it's gonna be pretty tough if you have your weaker armor as the miner is gonna do lots of and lots of damage. Okay, how about we get back this neutralizer? I don't want to use it against the miner, but here I am using it anyways. Because it just does so much more damage than those basic pistols. Okay, the boss is gonna do those quick drops here. Okay, I got stunned again. It's kind of weird how the boss just stuns you almost instantly. So you gotta be kind of ready for that. When the boss does that damage, do I lose durability in my armor? Well, not that much. Okay, the boss is gonna do another that huge drop here. Oh, that's a different drop now here. Okay. That's interesting, Durga. There's another drop. Another one of those spits. Okay, understandable. Those screams, spits, whatever you want to call them. Okay, the boss is gonna do another one of those screams. Uh, luckily I avoided that. I have no idea how much damage we'd even get if I didn't avoid that. Well, I don't really want to know. The boss has 900 health. Okay, let's hide. I'm sure that's gonna stun you and do lots of damage, especially this attack. It can maybe even one-shot you. So I kind of want to be careful. Okay, let's do more damage. And check this out. The boss has now more resistance. It has more defense because we were doing 22 damage. Now we only do 19. And how much damage we can do with this Glock? We were doing 8 damage. How much damage do we do now? Okay, after this attack, I'll check it out. We only do 6. So from 8, we do 6. We were doing 15 with crit. Now we do only 10. Well, so definitely the boss gets harder. He gets more defense. The more health the dude gets. It is a pretty tough boss. I'm not going to lie. Without the wall trick, it would be probably the hardest boss in the game. I wouldn't say that it's the most interesting boss. As it is pretty weird. Like, he just... He's very fast. He attacks non-stop. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't find it that fun. I do like the boss at the Bunker Bravo. The Dr. Dread. Dr. Dread is very awesome. There are pillars. You can dodge them. There are other zombies that spawn. It involves some strategy. You have to be calm and concentrated to deal with that boss. But with this boss, you just have to spam your guns. And, uh, I don't know if I really like that. And he's very fast. He just keeps doing those special attacks constantly. It's just lots of running around if we don't talk about the wall trick. So, I don't know. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of the miner. But it's still a fun boss. I like it. It is what it is. It's still probably like top two, top three bosses in the game. It's pretty easy to be top two, top three bosses in the game when there are when there are only like a handful of bosses. When there are only two, three bosses in the game in the first place. There you go. We have dealt with the miner. We've got it 750 points towards our season pass here. Let's get some of that stuff. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's loot the miner. We have gotten this terminal card. So let's get it with us. And I think there's one more room that we can open up. It also says that there's some sort of a boss here. Who's inside here? A fast biter. What was that? What was it shining? What was it? What was that? There are these shining zombies. Why are they here? What is this? How much damage they do? Well, I did not see that. Well, doesn't really matter. That crate was empty. All right, so it's about time we went and opened up some crates. I'm not going to be able to open up the fourth crate because to open up that fourth crate, we have to have that forklift already assembled and I don't have that forklift yet. One day we will get it. All right, so let's open up all these doors. So now we can drop here this cargo key and drop it. There we go. Now I dropped it. Let's authorize ourselves here. And it looks like I've only unlocked two of these crates. Okay, we have these crates, we have those crates, and there are more crates that we can get. Wait, I haven't scanned all of them then. Wait, there is a third crate that we can scan. No, 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 that's not it. There we go, here we can scan another crate. I've completely forgotten about this. There we go. Let's go for it. This is the crate that we can scan here. I don't know if you can see this, but there we go. There is the crate. We have scanned it, so this is the third crate now. And here, once we assemble the truck, I'm sure we'll be able to go over this thing and, uh, excuse me, not the truck, but the forklift. And yeah, then we'll be able to get the fourth crate. And I think the fourth crate is going to have probably the best loot. It also depends as all of these crates give you different types of loot. You can get some military gear such as guns, armor. Other crates will give you settlement items. So it all depends what you want to get. Also, some of these crates can give you even tactical backpacks. But hey, before we open up those crates, there's one more thing that we need to do because we still haven't explored everything fully here yet. So we have assembled that bridge, right? And we can go down here. First of all, there's a briefcase. So let's loot this briefcase. Let's not forget about it. 
There we go, we've gotten here a weapon mod blueprint. We already have this long barrel for the scar. And there we go, there's a bunker that we could descend lower. For the bunker, we will require to have some of the Genesis weapons. Well, luckily I got here some more neutralizers. So let's get that neutralizer and let's just descend kind of lower. First of all, I'm gonna loot everything here. Okay, here we've gotten some more random items. I will probably get everything that I can get here. And there we go, let's open up this door. So, whoa, 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 there's this acid melter. I don't really like using this gun on this acid melter, but whatever, I'm already using it. I might as well just use it. Let's loot the shelf. And inside of the shelf, we've gotten some more loot, okay. Now, let's open up this door and there will be a bunch of zombies. So your goal is to deal with these explosive zombies. These zombies can explode, you can kill them before they explode, so that's good. Also, stay here near that ladder in case things go south or something. You'll be able to go up that ladder. So there we go, we can go up the ladder. We can go down here. Oh no, there's that uh, ride zombie. Okay, let's deal with another ride zombie. There is another ride zombie before he raises that shield. No, 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 no. Another ride zombie. Okay, let's run over here. Sometimes they can corner you, so don't get cornered. So there you go, we dealt with everybody here. We are almost ready to open up the best crate here in the transport hub. But before we do this, let's loot this room is over here. We can find a blueprints for our drone. We can also get some drone parts. There we go, let's take everything we can. There goes somehow, some way I fit these drone parts. Wait, and this time I didn't get a drone blueprint, did I? Because sometimes here you can get a drone blueprint. I think we did not get a drone blueprint this time. Okay, let's disable that. Unless we get a drone blueprint down there. Wait a minute, first of all, I wanna open this up. Oh no! Oh no, oh no. Okay, so stay as close as you can to this acid melter. And there we go, we dealt with this guy. There's one more crate. Let's see what kind of goodies we can get inside of this crate. More random items. Okay, so now we can cross this thing because now this bottle is no longer electrified. And here we can exchange some of these drone mods, okay? And it also says that there is a chest here, but that chest was all the way on the top, like that briefcase, that's the chest. And that is it, we haven't gotten here any mods this time, but sometimes you can definitely get some mods for your drone. And that is it, I am ready to open up some sort of a cargo here. So now we have three crates here, and sometimes we get different crates. So this time we've gotten a police department crate, so it is possible for us to get an inspector card. It says possible rewards, so it doesn't mean that we'll get guaranteed inspector crates. Here we can get building materials so i think we should definitely open that stuff up to upgrade our settlement and that's what it'll probably go for here we can get like military backpacks which i don't need i don't need anything from here which this crate is kind of decent but i want this crate over here so let's try to unload it and let's see what kind of goods we can get inside of this crate ladies and gentlemen in three two one oh we still have to wait for that animation okay so here we've gotten three of these copper wires, which is kind of cool because I feel like getting these copper wires is going to be pretty tough. We've also gotten some iron frames. We've gotten six of these iron rods. This is bloody lovely. That's what we need. We need 10 of those things to assemble the watchtower or whatever the thing is with the ATV. So this is what the doctor ordered. We've also gotten two of these iron pipes, which are pretty cool. So the amount of resources that you get here and plus you can choose your rewards yourself. It's really great. We've also gotten four of these copper billets, which I haven't even unlocked yet, so it is really cool. I'm glad that we are getting this loot. I think the loot is really good. It also depends what you want. As I said, if you want to get guns, you can get guns and you will get like, what, three or four guns or something. You can get here grenade launchers, so it is not bad. As I said, you can also get here tactical backpacks, so the loot here definitely gets my approval. Plus, we've gotten here some more copper bars, so check this out. From this entire place, we've gotten 13 copper bars, plus we've gotten four steel bars, so that's 17 steel just like that in one run. That is ridiculous amount of steel. Unfathomable amount of steel. It would take you forever to grind that much steel. Like, I love this place. It is great. It seriously gets my approval. It does take quite a while to unlock it, but the loot is worth it in my opinion. And I highly suggest you check it out my Dead Island 2 Let's Player. Click on the second card to go my Resident Evil 4 Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.